Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. So, having spoken to Tilda, and come up with a plan, I'm not entirely sure where I actually am in the grand scheme of the world, um, we need to head back to base. Down here, am I? Okay, let's head here. Yeah, then we can fast travel back to base. I need these guys to leave me alone, otherwise I won't be able to fast travel. Aloy, please. I saw the thing come up like three times. We don't want any darting around. Right. I mean, I could have used a fast travel pack and just travelled from where I was, but... Last episode was an awful lot of talking. I imagine this one's going to be a bit of talking, too. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey! Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we going to do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths and get Beta and Gaia back. But first, we're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me a gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenus. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. I want to catch up with... Do I want to catch No. I spent too much time talking. Let's get quests and not do all the other talky it's stuff right now. To be okay. You look busy. My studies are a good distraction. Especially after Cauldron Gemini. Varl. Beta. Gaia. Gone. And that's just the beginning. 
The Zeniths want to rob us of our future, too. We won't let that happen. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. Um, right. Did you need help with something? You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But... We've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So, where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is... Well... You're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. Right. I'm not gonna... I should get going. Be ready to go on my signal, okay? I won't let you down. I know. I'm not gonna do all the talking right now. And, like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. Because literally last episode, all of last episode, did she say she was at the west exit? Um, literally all of last episode was talking to Tilda. Or did she say she was at the east exit? Talk to Tilda, she's on the upper exit. Grab all that. Mm, where is the east exit here? Nope, not here. This one. I looked for green, but green was through the door. My oh, well. I always get lost in that place. <laughs> Can't let the cold distract me. Over here, Aloy. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... further east to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower, gathered its seeds.
as verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seaweed rises as certain as stone from death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Eloy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. And watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... For not giving up on me. He always knew. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. Well, that was very sad. I was hoping there would be a happy ending for everyone, and then they went and killed Val. Couldn't they have killed someone else? I'm uh, going to clean my gear later. I can do yours if you want. I cleaned it already. Right, let's just craft this. I've got some other overrides to do, I think, still. Maybe not. I clearly went and did them all. Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Once I can override a sunwing, then we can go to all those other side quests. So I'm hoping... Once we get this done... We can... Okay, I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain. Not actually carry on with the main quest once I've done this bit. That's my plan. Is to then get all the other side stuff done. Then we'll carry on with the rest of the main story. There's one. Good. There are sunwings up here. I'll have to approach them quietly. They all facing the other way. I think they might be. We should just be able to sneak up on this one.
This is it. Ah! I'm in the air. Whoa, <laughs> head rush. Tilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. This is the last Tolnex I couldn't do. Or at least I think it's the last one. There's a tall neck. Need to get on top of its head. So am I literally just gonna land on it? Land this thing. Made it. Just got over it. Well, that was simple. Okay, Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good. And the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on a Horus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. Um, tap that and... Now what do I do? Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna have to get used it to just that. scoops me up. Oh, that's so cool. Got inverted flight controls though. It's not the end of the world. I can probably change it in the settings somewhere. Indeed. There's the energy cell. Right on the Titan's back. Of course it is. Got the cell. Now on to the grove. Pulse from the Tolmec should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any Horus I fly to. It'll be useful. Even after I deal with Regala. I'm sure it will. I wonder what I need to use them for. Oh. 
Morgala's inside. Hikaru will soon be dead. It's all over, Chaplain. I gotta drop it now. Here it goes. She flies on the wings of the Ten. The tide has turned. Push through! <laughs> End of the line, Hakar. Now, on your knees, and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're on top of a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. Please tell me I have access to all my weapons and this isn't like an honorable jewel. Good news. It's not an honorable jewel. We can set you on fire. Don't hide behind the explosive barrel, Aloy. Alright, so that's how it's gonna be. Oh, come on, it fell just short. Yeah, you've got one too. Indeed it is. But for you. Yeah. It is. Aloy gets it. Don't hide. Take your fire. As long as if I throw a drill thing at her. That looks painful. Oh, I missed. Awkward. That'll still blow up, though. <laughs> you moved backwards into it, you fool. Should have carried on throwing stuff at me. Here I am again, on my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead, run me through. Shut your mouth, traitor.
It was you who flew in on the wings of the Ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die. Um... I'm going to save her. She might be useful. I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes. But there's another battle ahead. Against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people. A squad. That's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not. Mercy. The battle I'm talking about will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold. And the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room. What is happening now? He surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. From an interested party. That'll be silence then. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. Thank you. Do you have any idea what you've just done? Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Xenos. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. Go on. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. 
time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board, so head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. That is exactly what we are going to do. Next time out, we will start... There's a few side quests I think I haven't picked up. Um, yeah, there's one there. And there's a few dotted about. That... I need to go and do. I haven't even really explored over here at all. There's some side quests to do over here. So... We will start doing those side quests and unlocking other stuff next time out. If you enjoyed this one, hit the like button below. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And join us next time for the next one.